Alright, so today we're going to take a look at the rectangular array command. And if you see what I have drawn on the screen, I've got a simple tile block. It's 10 inches long by 7.5 inches wide. And I wanted 20 of these. This would be similar to what you're doing in one of your classes where you've got a number of different drawings you have to do and you have to have a different tile block for each one of them. So I've set up this array and we put two inch spacing in between the rows and it's also going to be two inches spacing in between the columns. Alright, so this is how you do it. Let me go ahead and erase what I have. Okay, so starting off just draw a rectangle and you can come up to the home tab on your ribbon come over click on rectangle it asks you to specify your first corner point if you just type in 0 comma 0 and hit enter and then come down in your command line and click on dimensions and the dimensions for this rectangle is going to be 10 inches long by 7.5 wide and then just remember you've got to click one more point to finally go ahead and finish drawing your rectangle. Okay, so we've got our rectangle. Now we're ready to do our array. Just come up to your home tab on your ribbon, come over to array, click on the little drop list arrow, and one of your options should be a rectangular array. Go ahead and click on rectangular array. Look down in the command line, and the command line tells you to select objects. So go out and we're going to select the rectangle that we drew. After we get it selected we need to tell AutoCAD that we are done selecting objects so we hit enter to do that. And then by default it gives us an array. So if we look up in the ribbon now we can specify how many columns we want. So for instance the array that I showed you in the beginning had five columns and then it says a distance between the rectangles 10 inches wide and I want 2 inches in between each of my columns and so I'm going to change that to be 12 inches. My rows, I actually want 4 rows so I'm going to change my row number to 4 and then here again I also want 2 inches in between my rows so my tile block is 7.5 inches tall plus 2 inches so that's going to be 9.5 inches. So I set that, it gives me a preview. If I like my preview, I go ahead and hit close and that will close the array and now I've essentially made 20 copies of that title block. And you can do this for any items that you need to make copies of and make them in copies with equal spacing in rows and in columns.